Space, the final frontier. This is the two and a half year journey of the build of the Starship Enterprise. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and welcome to pack eight, but stage 27 of this build of the Next Generation's Enterprise D. Uh, it's coming together. It really seems like it's coming along quicker. I mean, they're sending out the parts a little bit quicker than one a month, so we are getting there quickly. So this is already up to stage 27 and stage 30 by the end of this month's build. So uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying the build. Uh, we've got some parts here. Another screwdriver. I'm not sure, not as nice screwdriver as the one they gave us way back in issue one, but I don't know, maybe they're wearing out or I, I have no idea. So I'll add that to my selection of pretty rubbish screwdrivers supplied by Partworks. Uh, in this issue, we are illuminating more of the saucer section, obviously, because that's what we always do. Uh, then we're adding a base to the battle section neck build, which is going to be quite interesting. Uh, so, first of all, we've got a very short, quick easy piece. Uh, we've got the metal plate here, which is going to have two escape pods um, with the red line closest to the widest edge. I'll remember that. At one point, I will remember. That's where it says it goes, and I'll not have to look it up, but yeah. So the red line closest to the widest edge. That's that there. Then we've got a selection of dark and light windows, as ever. Uh, it shows the pictures down up there, you'll, you'll see them in the picture in picture. And I'll do them mostly the same. Actually, I might do this one exactly the same, just to throw people. So we've got three darks in there. One, two, and that next one along. Like that, just about, yeah, there we go. Uh, then the other darks can be put aside. The light ones fill in the rest of the gaps. So this is quite an illuminated panel, although there's only one strip of lights rather than the others that have had multiple um, bits. So uh, yeah, I'll get these dropped in now. I might as well do it all live because why not? There's only one strip of windows in it. I, I should have got my tweezers out. I'll get my tweezers out. That'll make life a little bit easier. Just the big blunt pair of tweezers just to drop things in the right position if they don't go in quite the right position by dropping them, like that one did. Yeah. At some point, I'm going to become an expert in fitting windows. Not not in real life, obviously. I don't know anything about fitting windows. But model kit windows, I shall become quite good at. So that's that done there. That's that. Uh, then it says, step B, fit in the depth panel. What? Hey. Oh, windows from the last that are not yet in place. Carefully position the deck panel on the large solution. So these actually, yeah, these go in place over there. There's no backing piece to this. So let's move things around. So I've got room. I've got the bulb obviously there. I have the entirety of the saucer section so far. So this is obviously going that way up. We've got it down around there. It's going in there just like these without the back backing section so we've got to get that the right way round uh there's no little indentations or anything that have got to go under anything so i should just be able to put that about there a bit like that so it lines up with multiple of the screw holes all the lines are joining up and it looks about there uh, and this is using the bm screws which are there i can see one i tipped a few out so this is just to use one in that middle one at the back, obviously to hold it all in place initially. Oh, that's it, moving things out of the way over there. So that goes in there, so it sort of holds it in place, but not quite. Uh, it says just for now, hold it in place with one. Uh, and then play around with the wire. Uh, is This is the wire that we've got. We're putting the blue and red one. under here uh, and the other one's going under that and going under there so let's get that under there first under there and then up out of the way and both of these are going into there and once they're in there we can put them in place with the combination of different screws that are conveniently hidden underneath the panel over there I 
if you think things through. So that one's going in there, a bit like that. And that one's going under there, which I shall do in a moment. But first of all, I'm going to put another BM screw in there. Hold this corner in place. I think, is it lined up? It feels like it's lined up. Something's happened. It's moving around a bit. So I can get that bulb in place and tighten this down at the same time, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. So that should, again, not, not all the way tight, but tight enough so that's not wiggling out now. So that's okay in there. Then we can do the same over the other side. I should get the screw ready first, cunningly. I know I'm not using the new screwdriver like what I probably should, but I won't get the screw ready first, it fell off. Maybe that's it. Maybe the magnetization is falling out on these screwdrivers. Let's try the new one. Is it even magnet? It is, it's very magnetic actually. So yeah, that might work. I assume we're gonna need the shorter length at some point to be able to, uh, you know, work in and around panels and things. So let's get that turned around. Use me tweezers to get that in the right place. In there, but in there a bit further than that. So let's pop that down a bit. Squeeze that in. That feels like that's in the right place. That one in there should okay and tighten down a bit. So that's not going to fall out. So far, so good. Uh, then I'll get the rest of these in place. Uh, I won't bother doing the testing online because you've seen all that before. Let's grab another screw for up the top corner up there. Like that. Just getting all these in place and good to go. And a couple of the other, uh, which are these EM screws, which are the ones that go through here hold that together properly like that one there one there and one more over the other side there there we go right i'll get these tightened up um it off here to make sure it works okay if it doesn't i'll come back and show you but if it does then we'll just be cutting to the next bit where we're going to be doing the other bit that i had there a minute ago i can't i moved it over there the next section i'll clear this out of the way and get the next section down right you'll be happy to hear the lights all worked fine on the other one and i'll put in the extra couple of screws that i neglected showing you uh so this is the next section that we're working on now all we're doing is getting this bit on there so uh, yeah, quite easily just slips over there. Uh, five screws to hold it in place. The screws are there. So let's get them in. Uh, I'll start with that, I think. Again, as ever, we're putting in more than one screw. Don't tighten the first one down. Make sure they all line up and go in properly, like that one isn't. Get them all in and sorted. I have a look and see why that one isn't going in. It looks like that hole looks okay. I don't know. I shall investigate in a moment. I'll leave that until last. Get that one in there. Go. And that one. In there, yeah. I don't know. It obviously just didn't line up properly the first time. Uh, right, I'll get those tightened up. The one other thing that we're going to have to do on this, which I don't know why we didn't do last time, is apparently get these into the little uh, locating tabs under there. So I think we need less wire. So let's pull that wire through a bit more. It's got to go over and around and just in there. Um, the other way around, I think. Let me have a closer look with my magnification goggles and some tweezers that help. Yeah, they're going to have to go in that way around, but that should be the other side of that as well, according to the picture. 
I don't know that that's going to matter. But it might. So I shall remove that screw from there. Edge that round and get both of those in. A bit like that. Just in that corner piece. There's obviously going to be something that's going to reflect it in and through that hole. Uh, so I'll get that done, get those tightened up, and that will be the end of this issue. Um, join me for stage 28, I think, next time. Um, hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying the build. Let me know in the, in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you soon, and let me know what's going on. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.